Hey, my scrappy friends. So I have a layout for you and for my December daily. And I am sorry that you're only seeing part of this process. I think the night before I started it and I wasn't sure I was going to do a video for it. And so I picked out the pieces. None of these are really laid down yet. So I have that black paper from Pretty Little Bicycle, Yellow Bicycle. And it, on the background, it's super, super faint, but you can see some music. And then I have that wreath with a, a cardinal in it, and I'm going to use some of that. And I'm going to use that as a place to put my number. I really like that round shape, and it's so cute and festive. And then I, at this point, I'm thinking, oh, I want to use a bow. So I'm going to try to make a bow, and I'm horrible at making bows. But I'm attempting, and it actually didn't turn out too bad. Hopefully it will stay because I don't have this page in a pocket. So it is one of those pages that are free. So without the pocket, the dividers or whatever from Simple Stories, which really makes it easy to have this nice background, the snap ones that are the... So I just kind of fiddle around with it for a while to get it perfect-ish. I mean, that ribbon is not necessarily the best ribbon for making a bow, but it works, and and it looks really cute, and I use pop dots at the end to, uh, I use a little bit of my glossy accents inside of it, but to lay it down, I use my pop dots, so hopefully that will hold over time. Uh, I might have to like try to use some glossy accents later or something underneath it now that I have, but I'm hoping that it will stick. So I set that to the side and I decide I'm going to use that fa la 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 and I'm not going to put that on a pop ad adhesive, but I do put the number on and I'm not sure if I show me cutting the number or not or if I did that the night before, but I do try to edge everything on here just to give it that continuity since it is mostly different papers and lines and this is where I decide I'm going to use pop dots and I only have those American craft pop dots and I really don't like how high they are they're extremely high but that's what I have so that's what I'm going to be using so and this page is going to go super quick and this is only at double speed, guys. I am super impressed this page did not take very long. Of course, it's just like a little bit. But I think as I got going this night, because I did a whole bunch of pages together, that it was just like, okay. Though I, this might have been the first one that I was doing. But, so here I'm fiddling around with it just a little bit after I cut it, just to get it perfect. <laughs> Which is not perfect, but it looks cute, so... And I don't have any more twine left, I don't believe. I think I used the last on one of my other layouts or pages. So. so I'm gonna stick this down and as you can see, I have the glue dots. And I just stick a whole bunch on, and I do make sure that I stick them on the, the ends of, so they don't go floating and untie. That's mainly what I'm worried about. Otherwise, I would have left it. And plus, I kept covering the fa la 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 la, and I didn't want it to cover it too much. So for this day, did I write down? I didn't write down what pictures I'm going to use. I figure I'm going to use, on my in my book, I have a postcard, and I figure I'm going to either add like a little bit of journaling on there or a small picture and some journaling and I'm just going to do like one picture. This day though in particular was a Sunday and here in Hawaii it's a super big deal but it is um, Pearl Harbor Day and so I'm thinking that on the postcard I'm going to do some say something about that because here in Hawaii it's super super big so it's a big deal and actually um, 
they had this big thing a couple of days before where all the retired military from World War II who who was stationed here actually got to come and see Pearl Harbor and visit a few of the different posts that had that were affected by the bombing so pretty cool and so I probably pick a picture from there or something and use that and then some journaling and then on this other side I'll put like one picture from something that happened during the day not a lot happened I think I did a lot of like YouTubing and that's kind of some of some of my weekends tend to be like working on crafty stuff so I do use that ornament and then I'm going to add some pop or not pop dot sequence and I use glossy accents but I actually had to fix one because a couple of them came out or came off so I just use one black one red and then two of those like bronzy colors though I haven't found the other one that I lost so in a minute you're gonna see some close-ups and like I said this was a short day because this was the only thing that I did for that day so I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys have a great weekend bye <laughs>